Hey guys, it's Trey Roger. Just want to make it a comment today. We're going to be reviewing the Lip Balm Lab. This is your own way to make lip balm. And I made some right here. It is a red cherry and it tastes really good. <laughs> Don't ask what that was. Okay, so it tells you what's in the kit. They, it comes with a, a guidebook, which that's really helpful. It even tells you what's in the ingredients in case you're allergic to it. You know, you want to make sure that you or your child is going to be safe with these. Um, it's all natural stuff. That's nice. So there's different ways that you can make the lip balm. As you can see, there's a lot of mixtures here. I made, had made the basic lip balm. I made my own lip balm. Made the basic lip balm and the luxury lip balm. Basically just the luxury, luxury lip balm. Almost all the same steps are the same, which that is very easy if you, because if you get it right, then you could be able to do it a lot. So, yeah, um, this does involve heat and water, so you might want to have an adult help you if you are a little bit younger. It does involve measurements. Well, not really. They already have all the measurements, but yeah, it, there's a soy Easter, and you just have to put this in there. Yeah. There's different ways for you to make this lip balm. Um, I'm gonna name all of them. There's the basic lip balm. There's the luxury lip balm, the shimmer lip lip balm, the solar lip balm, and then there's also in the very back, it says testing your own solar lip balm. So, you just do one, one of the beads with just the sun, one of the beads with your own sunscreen from home, and then one of the one of the beads covered in your lip, lip gloss. Um, these are the little beads in case you didn't know, in case you just thought these were just an add-on, but they're really not and they're I don't know they're I don't know what quite what they're for. I haven't read really into it, but I I did one of these. Okay, and then it's cool that they come with this own it this own sticker thing. It tells you when to throw it away, when to keep it. It's um lip balm this lip balm should be used within six months that have you have made it. And it comes with these little berry wax, which tastes like berries. So, I don't know if it's quite dry yet, but we're going to try it out. It was, yeah, it's pretty dried out. It comes with its own little makeup thing, which I thought that was adorable. So, it's really shiny. I did the shiny one. Not quite dry enough, but it will work. And I give this Two thumbs up. If I had more thumbs, I'll give them more. Bye, guys.